You know, it's going to get deeper. I don't even know how close to the mine we are. We're going to have to get pulled out. Hey, it's Freddy Dodge. We're on the road coming into your mine here, and it's slicker than snot. We slid off here, and we're we're in a bad spot. We're stuck. Well, this sucks. I've had better mornings. Well, I think we're pretty lucky we didn't bring my truck down, too. Yeah. We'd have two, trucks, two stuck. trucks stuck. Hopefully, he's got a big enough piece of equipment to get this truck out. Yeah. Freddie and Juan are 900 feet above the historic town of Sumter, Oregon, bogged down en route to a struggling mine, operate your old Tyler Beers. He's here. Tyler! Hey, Juan. How you doing? Hey, Freddie. How's it going? Not too bad, you guys. Freddie. Tyler. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. Nice to meet you, Tyler. Nice to meet you, Juan. Yeah. Tyler Beers, a concrete finisher for most of the year, fake or mine in the late spring for the last two years. Saturday, April 23rd, beers mine number one. The mud hole. Port, due to unpredictable snowmelt being his only water source. There's our fresh water coming in. My dad brought me up here, and I've been up here in Sumter in these blue mountains, panning for gold ever since. He's helping me this year, and he loves it up here. It's great to have the family, obviously. Tyler's dream is to quit the day job and make his living from mining. I don't want to pour concrete anymore. It means everything for me. Shot. And to be successful at it. It'd be a dream come true. Before Freddie can make that dream a reality. Well, this little guy. Yeah. Well, we're going to give it heck. He's got to get to the claim. Let's pull her out. Come on, baby. Give her some gas. Let's go. Come on, some gizzy. Once we get to the top of this hill, we should be all right. Let me try to go without the chain. Start at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got it. Perfect. Thank you. Gold was first discovered in this region in 1851, and prospectors flooded in, creating a boom town. Before, shaft dredge and hydraulic operations had extracted more than 200 million dollars in gold from the surrounding creeks and hill now hey freddy young gun tyler beers failing mine into a money spinner so this your mine huh yes this is my mine my dad showed it to me about five years ago okay I've been working since to get where we are today right. with the trummel, the pond, and the diggings, obviously. So this Pretty is your cut right here? This is the cut. Yeah. We're struggling. Our yield's really low. Um, it's not really paying for the diesel. Mm -hmm. um, it's paying about it. How much gold did you do last year? A little bit under 12 ounces. How long did you run? Five weeks Five at weeks. the most in okay. a drought year. So you have a limited window. Absolutely. How much will be done this year? We're, we're about four and a half ounces. I would say, yeah. How long have you been running this year? Four weeks. Yeah, that's not good. So in, in your opinion, what's your biggest problem that you have? The water, definitely. In this area, we have snow melt for water. Gone, your season's done. Without the water, I can't even yeah. begin to wash a rock to, to look for the gold, so. Exactly. Um, the water's, it's. So what does your gold look like out here? Oh, look at that guy. Some of it's coarse, some of it's fine, but the, the numbers just aren't adding up. Nugget doesn't do it. No, just to run, I had to involve two investors in the past two years, and I started the season seven ounces in debt. Really? So what's at stake? My wife brought the last of our savings up here, and I'm running on the last $2,000 my family has. I'm drowning up here. Family came to visit us. Mr. Daddy. Tyler's wife, Chelsea, with their two kids, make a 300-mile round trip each week to visit. I'm here chasing my dream, and I'm very blessed to have Chelsea, my wife. You can't do a family without a good partner, and she is. She's an amazing partner. Holy crap, where'd you get that? Holy moly. Good job, Mom. Good job. His goal is to be a gold miner. He's talked about it since I met him, so that's why we support him. What's the heart being up here? 
going to bed time and you're not tucking me in. I miss that too. Me being away from home is killing them right now, but I have a better life. Hi. You think I'll make it? Yeah. No. Hey. Andy. Hey. <laughs> a lot of people that would agree with Andy. What's your goal this year for ounces? I really need to get 25 ounces. I do. Um, we have four weeks into the mining season. Yeah, ounces. Four. Yeah. And I'm, I'm hoping you guys can help enlighten me on your true opinion on what needs to happen here. Well, let's look at your plant. Let's start. To introduce you guys to my dad. OK. Awesome. You think maybe you can dry some of this up for us tomorrow? Hey, Dad. Pretty and water here. What's okay. your name, Kevin? Kevin. Hey. Freddy, nice, nice to meet you. Kevin. So how long have you known about this place? About 20 years. Three years ago, got a hold of Tyler, says, you go bed? I says, I got a place I want to show you. So he set up his high banker, him and his buddy shoveled in some dirt for a while, and there's 40, 50 pieces of gold there after about 45 minutes. And his iron. Gold <laughs> fever. Here we are. Here you are. <laughs> well, it's your fault. It's his fault. Yeah. <laughs> it's all my fault. Sometimes gold will trick you. Yeah. <laughs> it, it does. Now, do you feel it for him being here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's very important that it works out because he's put so much into it, and I showed it to him. and feel some of that. Yeah, there, there's got to be some here. And we have come across it, just not near enough of it. You guys work good together? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. We've had a history of not working well together. 14 <laughs> to 23. We don't talk a lot about those. You know? There's some pain there. But... This is old Yeller. It's not <laughs> nice to call your dad that, man. We won't talk about that. It's a 1929 Lapeer. Rocks we throw at it. Yeah. It'll gobble them. She and looks stout, though. Yeah. It seems to be tough for as old <laughs> as it is. <laughs> All right, well, let's do it, huh? Fox and gold. Let's do it. OK. You ready? I think so. Let's send some water. All right, here goes another day. Freddy will run a four-hour test to simulate half a working day. Enough time to see how a vent runs and where he might be losing gold. Oh, the other does run pretty good for 100 years old. Here we go. Well, there she goes, Fred. First bucket. The centerpiece of the beer's operation, a 1929 Lapeer Trommel, Old Yellow. Tyler feeds the gold-bearing material through the 17-foot barrel, where water washes gold off the rocks into a 12-foot sluice. Want to poke around a little bit, Fred? Yeah. We are all in. I've got my life savings into the savings. If I don't make this work out, my family won't be able to make the mortgage payment next month. Thank God my dad's up here to help. It's a good hand. 25 ounces. We're getting clear. Make his investors happy. He's happy. Here. I really do. Oh. Yeah, feel it. Yeah, they're packed. Packed solid. No bueno. We know we can help them here. We're looking around, huh? Let's go look at their ponds. That doesn't look good. The clean water is getting dirty water. You're absolutely right, Freddy. The second it comes into the pond, it gets dirty. Yep. Clean water is vital to effectively wash rocks. If dirty water plant, fine gold can be carried away with the sedimentation. We should try to get some of that makeup water down to the main pond down below. Bring me some more pay dirt, would you? <laughs> Ow, you son of a bitch. <laughs> what do you think, Lano, on that spray bar? Man, we've had that problem with a lot of plants, Freddie. It's just, it's not set up right. The material's up on the side. The water's on the... does nothing. Yep, it's kind of like taking a shower, but not standing under the shower yeah. head. It's hey. not going to get clean. What do you think, Freddie? Should we take a pan of that and take a look at it? Yeah. One oh! Welcome! Watch your fingers! Yeah, there's a lot of material there's there. a lot of material. There's probably, what, the material that should be going down the sluice isn't ever making it there. Yeah. With this much fine material coming out the end of the trommel, Tyler could be losing 20 pool. I say we pan the bait. See what it looks like, huh? Because it doesn't look like pay to me anyway. No. Sucks it all while you're panning it, one. Even little ones. Not a Nothing. Yep. 
they're putting material through the plant that doesn't have much gold in it. And this is proof right here. There we are, four hours, ready? Last bucket! The uh, four hour test runs over, Pa, I need you at the pump. Well, should we go take a look, Fred? Yeah, let's have a look, 10. Flakes in there. Well, guys, clean it up. Let's get it on the scale. Okay, let's do it. My material they're running, and uh, it doesn't look good. The plant itself, it needs some work, but if there's no gold in the material they're putting, all that is for naught. It's coming. Oh, yeah. Test run complete. Freddie and Juan prepare for the first gold way with rookie Oregon miner, Tyler Beers. I'm hoping it's heavy. Well, moment of truth, guys. Yep. Point one three. You sure Point. you got it all? <laughs> you got it all. Point one three. Oh, well. That's not good, guys. It's pathetic. You know, there's 200 gold there, right? Right. So about $60 an hour, call it. That doesn't cover the fuel for that machine or that. There's $250 worth of gold there. Probably cost you four times that to, to make it. Each mining day costs $1,000 in fuel and materials. Then after you said, you know, you're working on the last of your savings right now, there's no use throwing your savings away. Dollar to make a dime. Every hour you run, you're taking money away from yep. your family. We started canning your pay. We never found a color in it. It's more of a dirt mine right now is what you're running. Juan and myself are in a pretty tough spot here. We rolled in here thinking the water was going to be the problem, not the problem. We could have the Mississippi River running through there, but if there's no gold, there's no gold. So what we need to do is put our detective eyes on and, and go looking around here. We can fix your water problem. We can help you catch more gold, but if there's no gold left there, it doesn't matter as we do. It's all for naught. So, number one, we're going to go on a prospecting mission. If not, you guys will be bankrupt fast. We're already there. It'll rip your heart out when you start thinking about your family and the success that you're not having. It'll gut you. Tools gathered. It's a cute shovel, Freddy. Freddy and Juan launched their new mission yet. But on the bright side. It is a cute shovel. Yeah. Say it folds down. That's actually a full-size shovel for you. For me, it'd be a spoon. <laughs> Smart ass. <laughs> well, should we get to it? Yeah. You're going to do gonna, a little prospecting? I'll go with Tyler. OK. And uh, yeah. we'll start trying to find some pay. All right, see you down there. All right. With just four days to save the mine, Freddie must give Tyler a crash course in prospect. So now it's time to do some investigation. The area shows evidence of historical mining. First step, Freddie needs to know how well. These creeks look like they've been hit flipping hard. Not a little, hard by the old timers. Starting in 1851, Oregon's first wave of old timer miners were snipers picking off the easiest and biggest gold estate. Then in the 1860s, a more methodical style of gold rusher took over, take up the ground, and leave nothing behind. Later, in the 1870s, a high volume of miners fought to secure the hills, spending time clearing trees and intensively cleaning out all the creeks they could find. So let's put our detective hats on here. See, now this is getting interesting here. Discovering the date this ground was mined is critical to determine if Tyler should retreat or... Where'd this tree come from? Oh, 50 lineal feet at the most. So right out of your cut. Right in okay. the center of it. So I'm going to be using these rings as a reference or a guide to let us know when this was mined, because they would have tore every tree out of it. 24, 25, 7, 28. If the tree is less than 150 years old, Tyler's ground may be worthless. 138, 139, 140, 40 years old. That tells me that this was mined out in the 1860s, 1870s. 
Where's and there was probably right thousands of people in here at the time looking for gold. But this was all done by hand. The old timers didn't have pumps. They didn't have heavy equipment, but you do now. Okay. When Freddie showed me the age of the tree, I had no idea that they were up these at all. We gotta start over. We gotta start prospecting again. And I need to find some color up here or else there is no future for me or my family up here. Fear of hope, Freddie goes deeper into the cut to see where Tyler pulls his pay. So here's material you were running. Like, right. <clears throat> so what this is, this is all just slip material. So picture this draw before it was mined, right? It was a nice little creek bed. You see these rocks they're running, see how angular they are, right? These never got concentrated in the bottom of that stream. Your odd round rocks you're seeing, that's the remnants of where the gold would have been. Old timers would have taken out of here. It would have almost all been rounded material. But you can see all these angular rocks in here, right? And this is slip rock that slowly slid off the hill, but it's never been concentrated to make a good payable deposit. This material you're digging now is totally worthless. Worthless, I don't know if I like it. There's no damn gold in it, right? Yeah. Uh, okay, I won't say worthless. I don't know if it's worthless. I spent thousands of dollars digging, you know what I mean? I got money in, even if there ain't gold in it. Yeah. When Freddie tells you that the ground's worthless and you have, you know, a couple years to get where we are today, it's very disheartening a little bit. It sucks completely. So basically what gold these guys are getting are just scraps that were left over. A lot of scraps at that, but hopefully we can find some other material that the old timers missed. Never say never and never give up. Hi, how are you guys? Good. How is school? Good. Good. Freddie was on site today. It didn't go very good. Freddie had bad news for us. Basically, that whole area we've been digging is, Freddie's words, worthless. What about that nugget? He says that's what the old timers left behind. And I'm just getting scraps and basically to stop digging. It's time. Winners don't give up, right? Uh -huh. Well, I love and I miss you guys, but I do need to get to work. And I we love you. Love you too. <laughs> We're hemorrhaging money to be up here chasing our dreams. Chelsea's very supporting of me. I love her to death and she loves me to death or else that demeanor. I mean, you can tell when I call her. It's, she's got just as much hope as I do. We gotta get on the gold, though, or else this is gonna be our last. My family can't keep going through this. It's always good to have a local that you can go to. To understand Tyler's ground better, Freddie's an expert who's mined these gulches for the last 50 years. We're only here for a week, but Walt's been here for decades, so we'll go and see. Knock, knock. Come on in, Fred, I assume. Yeah. Good to see you, Fred. Well, I came over, I'd like to pick your brain a little bit about the history of the area. I was in there, there was people in there in the 1860s, where he's mining now. The old timers, when they had water, get all of these gulches up here, clear yeah. down to the lake. They worked it pretty hard because the water lasted longer there. Right. Uh, so you got any gold you can show me from the area? Here's, that was the big stuff from where I was mining at Parkerville. Yeah, some nice little nuggets in there. Nothing any bigger than that. Them old timers, but they weren't okay. what you would call totally effective. There's no doubt in my mind that there's pockets of their stuff left out there, you know, like high benches. And there's more gold out there on these high benches than you can shake a stick. <laughs> well, we'll see what we see, and hopefully we can help Tyler out. Sir, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much for letting me pick your brain. You're more than welcome. I really appreciate it. You too, Fred. Thank you very much. It kind of confirms what I thought as well. 
that creek's gutted, hit it hard. But the most important thing we can do for them is try to find them pay. Try to find them pay that the old timers missed. And, uh, you know, it goes without saying, they're in a tough spot. Now it's turned into more of a treasure hunt. What we want to do is we want to cut this spray bar and angle the jet so they're actually hitting the material. In the hope for gold will pay off, Juan begins modifications to the trommel to improve its recovery. I've seen it flopping. Yep, she's almost there. Freddie and Juan identified the spray bar was set at the wrong angle. Kind of like taking a shower, the shower head. Completely missing the rocks. Plan, rotate the spray bar 45 degrees off the vertical to ensure water effectively washes the rocks. You're going to run a trouble in equipment out of pay, and so far it has. Right here, you'll see these two holes. Go ahead and drill those out, and then we'll go to the next size up, go to 3 8. Tyler, he's spending money to be here. For my son here, and hopefully get him on the right track. All right. You know, we come into situations sometimes where it doesn't require a ton of fixes. You know, something that's the, the spray bar, it's going to make a huge difference in the recovery. But all that is secondary. First and foremost, we've got to make sure that we find a spot that's worth it. So it's got to be exciting for you to be able to spend the summer out here with your son, huh? Yeah, it is. You want to get that tight? I didn't realize he was such a driver. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. You know, I worked with my dad, and it was the same way. You know, they're great guys, and they're a father-son team, so, you know, to be close to home, I love that. You know, my father and I, we uh, we work together quite a bit, so I, I like seeing that. He thinks he knows everything when he's 13, 14 years old. Any father would probably know, but it uh, took him a while. He wasn't a quick learner by any means, but... Uh... <laughs> you got to be proud of him now, though. You know, he's <laughs> yeah. out here. Kid he, tries. Yeah, he's trying like heck. He does all aspects. Good. Tyler and I got a very good relationship, and I'm really proud of him because of that ethic, working his hard, you know, making a living for his family. He's the one under all the pressure. Oh, I got to keep in mind, I'm here to help him. Okay, I think we got him. That looks good. All right, well, let's just tighten up this top one, and then it's ready to go. Let's go up here. And... All right. Running down his next lead, Freddie and Tyler hunt for richer ground above the claim. The most important thing we can do for this is find some gold on their claims. And if we can't, we're in real trouble. We've never been in this spot like this before. Up here, there's, it could be an old bench that got left up there. Right. There's a flat spot up there where that stream before it started cutting down over here, but hopefully it left the gr on bedrock from that time period millions of years ago. But there's no way to tell without digging it. Let's do it. Deposit forms when gold settles in a riverbed. Later, the creek moves on to cut a new path, which ends up deeper than the bench it left, leaving behind concentrated gold. We're coming up right over there. I'm in the past, that would have been the bottom of the creek. You can see that flat bench up here. Wow. We need to get up here and dig a trench across here. If Sounds good. If there's nothing there, we bury the trench. If there's gold-bearing gravels in there, we sluice the heck out of it. OK. Everything Freddie's taught me about the ground that I've been digging is real valuable. It's a master class in learning that from Freddie. I'll always have yeah. and uh, never forget. Here, and we'll run a trench right across here. OK. Cut me a little ramp there to get down in. You got it. That'll work, Tyler. Pretty exactly what are you looking for? Partially rounded gravel. See, we got some rocks in here, Tyler. Yeah, I'm looking. That are partially rounded. Okay. Right? So this rock here was in that stream. Hopefully that's a bench the old timers couldn't get to. They didn't have pumps, they didn't have heavy equipment. So that's our hope now. You know, there's always a glimmer of hope.
fire in the hole. Later that afternoon, Freddie and Tyler finish a bulk test. Well, let's have a look. If it contains gold, Tyler's operation has hope. Nothing. Tyler and myself looked around a lot of places today. Bench that I was hopeful that there was old gravels left up there. Nothing. So now we're back to square one. We'd have it here. This site has drained me. I just don't know. I don't know. Pretty sure this is my last season. This doesn't look good. This is bad. What do you think we should do? After three days of prospecting, Freddy's running out of options. There's got to be gold in here that the old timers missed. They hydraulic it. This, pretty sure. That's why there's so much material missing. The most efficient thing the old timers had during this time period was hydraulic. A huge water cannon that, that just washes the material. Drawing from further up the creek, they use a water cannon to blast huge amounts of pay dirt downstream into primitive sluice boxes where the gold would collect. If this was hydraulic like I think it was, there's a chance they might have left quite a bit of gold in this bedrock. You can see this fractured bedrock over here, isn't it? Yeah. Well, those pieces of gold, they're coming down, they hit that crack and they fall in. The old timers didn't get it, right? Because they were trying to pry kinds of stuff. The old timers thought, this is freaking tough digging. Okay. Maybe they left enough. Let's see. Gold that didn't make it into the old timers sluices got trapped in the fractured bedrock. This is plan B. I hope we don't have to find a plan C. B one. Give her hell, bud. Hope and pray that we can find some serious gold. I need to turn this thing around. I need to get my debts paid. Perfect. Let's see what's in it. Well, fingers crossed. Look at that. Heck yeah. There is, holy cow. 11, 12, 13, 14. And some of them pretty flipping nice. That's phenomenal, Freddy. So that's in the bedrock that the old timers couldn't clean up. They left a lot of gold laying there. Didn't have a traco. <laughs> they had bars and picks. Right. This excites me. I'm hopeful. Thank well, you. Well, we need to start stockpiling this. It looks really good. That was a nice pan. If he's excited about it, then I'm, I'm giddy. Freddie found a good spot. Hopefully that that goal of 25 ounces and hopefully to pay back my investors is in reach now. From what I can tell, they left a lot of gold behind in the bedrock. So we're gonna harvest it. Gosh, I'd like to pull a half ounce out of here every day and turn it into a profitable number. Let's measure these riffles real quick. Okay. Inspired by Freddy's 15 color pan. 21 and a quarter. Some gold rich pay dirt. 40, 48. Yeah. Juan and Kevin start a major overhaul of the sluice system. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little bit of a change. If you did feel it, the, the top box was completely packed. You yeah, can't even we, get your finger in it. We noticed that. So what we wanna do is, is by getting eliminating those riffles where they have the under riffles and the top riffles, a little more pitch, it's gonna help clean those out so they actually work properly. They'll tumble better, huh? they're completely packed up, that gold just skips right across the top of just it. Just bounces along and... See the different color carpets going here. So what we're doing here, by having the second layer of carpet, what it's gonna do, if it does work its way through the, the miner's moss, it'll still get trapped underneath. Okay. So it's just giving you a second layer of a protection. Let me finish cutting this up, and okay. then we can uh, start working on the adjustment.
How's she going, Juan? It's coming along, Freddie. I'm just putting these ripples back together. Looks good. I'll start lowering. Yeah. All hands on deck right now to get this done. We've got, you know, just a limited amount of time. We only have one. After stockpiling the new pay, Tyler joins Kevin for the final critical fix, accessing clean water. Our fresh water from up here, so we're bringing a pipe from up here where the fresh spring runoff is coming clear down to the last pond that we're actually pumping out of so that the water that's in is cleaner. It potentially means cleaner water running through the wash plant, uh, more fluid type water working our ground, more gold recovery, more gold in our pocket. I hear water flowing. There she is. Look at that. Water where we need it. Want to watch yourself if this son of a gun drops. Okay. At the wash plant, make final adjustments to the pitch of the sluice box. A tad bit more. Poquito mas. Poquito. Ooh, Perfect. Perfect. In Spanish. Tranquilo. Tequila. Well, there it is. Box is ready to go, Freddy. The way the old timers mined this, they were going to lose some gold, right? Yeah. Just pray they lost enough. Only one way to find out, Fred. That's right. Well, you know, it's been kind of a weird week for sure. Yeah. Honestly, you know, Freddie feels a lot of weight on his shoulders. When we come into a place and do a mine rescue, and a lot of thought into it. Even after a tough week. Yep. Oh, thank you. Holy moly. Yeah. I got you something special, Freddie. Juan knows how to turn Freddie's frown on. What'd you order me? I got you Mickey oh, Mouse pancakes. Mickey Mouse pancakes. You know. Thanks, what? <laughs> <laughs> Looks good, though. He's cute. My pancake. <laughs> thank you for the mouse pancake. <laughs> Well, let's eat and hit the road. Let's do it, huh? Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hey, how are we doing today? Doing all right. Good morning. You guys ready to run some material? After a hard week hunting for gold and wash plant, today is the moment of truth for the beer's mine. Oh, I'm excited. I guarantee you with what we did to the plant, it'll increase the recovery by far. The riffles and then also making that a little steeper and really your, your makeup water now, you know, we ought to be able to run a little longer, yeah. Good. Increasing the amount of recovery from that first run, we got to get more gold. Well, let's uh, fire it up. Thanks, Freddie. Let's run a wash plant. Give her some juice, Pa. We're thrilled the other and let's show you guys some damn gold, huh? They'll run a four-hour test to see if Freddie and Juan's fixes have worked. Here we go. And Freddie has identified is as rich as his 15 color test pan suggests. I'm excited to see the first scoop of material go through, see what it looks like. Bucket, Juano. Moment of truth, huh, Freddie? Yep, let's start a timer. All right. Let's do a four hour run. Over the last week, Freddie and Juan have re-angled the spray bar to ensure water washes gold off the rock, lowered the sluices and installed custom mats and riffles to capture fine gold, and diverted snow melt into there so that the water they pump up to the trommel is clean. But Freddy's toughest challenge was finding pay. We've never been in a situation like this. We're in a hydraulic with water cannons, right? So a lot of stuff, try to get yeah. away from them, right? Let's just hope it was enough in these creeks. Old nugget, come on, baby. This material's a lot different than what we've been running before. The new pay Tyler's aims fractured bedrock. This stuff's really rocky. Woohoo! It's rocky. But if Freddy's right, it's the bedrock that contains old timers couldn't reach. This stuff is jamming me up. Maybe I'm feeding it a little too fast. Poor old girl. That stuff's a little slow. Come on, baby. That, that spray bar, Freddy, is working good. Yep. It's, it's going to work. That's 20% of the material that should have been going through the sluice was Come going around. out in yeah. these coarse tailings. If I was a piece of gold, I'd rather be with my friends in the sluice box. Yeah, and not tailings, in the tailings yeah. pile out there. Where am I? The water coming out of that spray bar, Freddy, looks a lot cleaner. Yes. Now we got that makeup water right next to the intake. All that water that's pipe now. So that's going to help with the scrubbing. And that fine, fine gold recovery. Those yeah. pieces of gold you can barely see. Yeah. That it's cleaner gonna water is going to help recover those. Check, take a look at that. 
That's a hell of a lot cleaner than it was Rock before. Cleaner. This is now and before. Blood. That just tells us that the sluice box is at the right angle. We got the water flow where it needs to be. Running good, bud. Yeah. Tyler, that's four hours. Okay. That's good. Come on, go nugget. Last bucket for today, and let's hope it's not the last for good. Yeah. See some gold. You know you shut her down, bud. changes that Freddie and Juan did. I'm excited about the future. This is only the beginning. Um, even if I'm not mining here my whole life, I'm going to be a gold miner. Well, let's take a look at it. Yeah. See what you got up there. There's gold there, Freddie. Yep, lots of it right there. And up here. Well, it has a little bit of gold in it. Yeah. Well, there's gold in the box, guys. Yeah, it looks great, Freddie. Yeah. yeah. Job, you guys did good. Don't know how I much, like the but there's gold it. in the box. That's for dang sure. All the fish in this loose box, it's only going to inspire me. Well, well I like let's it. get it cleaned yeah. up. Do it. Okay, oh, sounds good. Yes, Thanks, Freddie. It. You're welcome. That's all gold for us this year. Because one little thing goes wrong with this, and the whole season's shot. I christened the Dirt Reynolds. Rush. Just got to get it safely off this trailer. Where's all that water come from? Hit the bypass! No expected growing pains, but this is outrageous. I need somebody to replace Rick. I hate these kind of decisions. It's time for things to get screwed up. We're gonna fire up Lucifer, see what happens. Hey, hey, about time, huh? here if you guys know of anything that we could be running like in the old last cut yeah if we could find some good spots in the bedrock maybe we could uh 
run what's left there, but I don't think you're going to get any stellar cleanup out of it. Just run a bunch of bedrock through and beat a bunch of up. I think we can make it work. Go over there and see what we can scrape up, and that'll get us by while you guys are getting the rest of the fall off up there. Brennan, if you could get ahead of us here and get some ditches in so that we get the season already. All right. So get on it. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank Dean. You. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Dean's a new guy for us this season, but he does help, which is why I hired him. We'll get over there and run some bedrock and see um, see if there's some gold in it. Right now, I just want to see that damp. They've already mined the gold on the bedrock. But there could also be some hit. Dean's plan? Return to the previously mined ground and run another two feet of bedrock. Old left. I'm running bedrock on several occasions. But running this is our only option. First pan for gold at age nine on his family's Klondike claim. The first time I ever chased bedrock in 350 ounces. Bedrock can be very tough taken and it can break the machines, but I've seen it work time and time again. Full recovery out of it. While Dean works old ground, the rest of the crew is stripped. Brennan's been tasked with digging ditches to speed up the thaw. Digging these ditches is out of the thaw just doesn't happen as fast as it should. Brennan's going to be a key guy this year and is already proving to be one, especially since Rick's gone. And replace Rick as Parker's new foreman. Parker's got a trillion stresses with <laughs> crew and keeping things going. It needs to be somebody who's been here for a while that knows what's going on and sees the big picture. Month into the season right now, and we still haven't mined an ounce of gold. Coming up here, and to this point, all we've been doing is moving massive amounts of dirt. New mine boss Rick Ness is down to pay in his first ever needs to start sluicing gold. You know, I haven't paid my guys yet. All I've been doing so far is going into debt. Putting peace in his operation, a wash plant. This machine is key because this is the machine that's going to reinvigorate my guys. And by the end of the week here. Gold. Last week, yeah. I found a plant for his claim. That'll do about 200 yards an hour. Oh, really? 200 yards an hour. I want to see this thing move. It's impressive. $180,000 later, Rick spent every last dime. Wow, that's big. And it's ready to be collected. Load it up on the trailer, getting ready to head up to the claim. I've got all the money that I can afford to put into a wash plant, into this wash plant. So it's nerve wracking and the whole, the whole season's shot, you know? So it needs to show up in one piece today. Rick, driver Tyson, and Z in the pilot car start the long haul to the... See, if you encounter anyone once we get in, you know, once we get into this, you're going to have to flag them down, like wave them out, right? And let them know that something really wise. Did you, did they tell you what? I'm on coming. All right, got a car. Ooh. It's all tourist, man. Another one coming. One coming, one coming. Oh, Sixty miles south, the crew's rushing to finish the 60-foot pad. Looks pretty good to me. It feels like you're a mile high up here right now. It's coming together really quickly. I can kind of picture a wash plant. I want to get that gold out of the ground. It's pretty crucial that we start getting things happening pretty quick to be able to get that gold. Rocks flying all over the place. The fact that we're building this pad does give me some hope that we are moving ahead, that uh, something is coming on. Rick and his wash plant leave the highway onto the unmaintained road to Quartz Creek. So we should hit much less traffic now, but it's we're much less maintained. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Hey, Rick, you got a copy? Yeah, go for it. Uh, it's a huge boulder in the middle of the road. What a f spot, huh? Oh, man. 
get a move, man. We'll see what happens. All right, cool. I'll get out of your way. See you, man. To his claim, but a huge boulder stands in its way. Trommel architect Will Pilkington is lending a hand. Ooh, dig it in. Yeah. Big rock to get out of the way. New rock. Thanks so much, Will. Yeah, Have a good nice plan to the Good luck, eh? Thanks, man. Totaled his 
plant before even firing up. I just pulled the thing nice and easy like I planned on, and all of a sudden the thing just fell right off the dolly. You can't catch a break one thing after another. And the guys loaded it on the trailer, and they never relocked it. It's a low boy, so you're fine. Just going to be extra cautious and get two more machines in here. We'll put excavator on this side, lift this side up, and then I'll use the 700 to push the dolly back underneath it and make sure it's locked in place this time. Just keep everyone out of the way. Straight up. Pull it. Coming up nice and easy. A little bit more. Okay, hold that. Sluice boxes onto it. Um, line, plumber water in. After that, good to go. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Well, so I know we were talking about what we were going to name the wash plant, and uh, Z actually came up to me with a really good one with that. So it's dirty, it's rusty. It's named after a classic American icon. It reeks of us. I christened the Dirt Reynolds. <laughs> with all this frozen ground we're out of hay and we've ran the road and we just got to start getting some gold coming in in the last cut both of parker's plants are standing idle new hire dicks, dig up bedrock left from last season to see if there's any gold left behind there's gold in this bedrock they're always parker's long-term plan thaw and drain the cut to get fresh pay dirt by next week digging the ditches to channel the meltwater away from the pay dirt. This is going to be the first part of the cut that we mine, so we need the thaw to be perfect. Yeah. I'm happy with progress so far. Things are looking good. Responsibility, um, maybe it's just one step closer to possibly moving up the ladder here one of these days. With Rick on here, there's a big void. To, it's starting to stress him out because there's a lot of things to look at. Disaster. On the edge of the ditch, which insulates the ground next to all our ditches and just make me want to shoot somebody in the head. Brent thawing water out of the cut, but by piling the dirt high next to the ditch, he's insulated the ground below, which blocks water from leaving the cut. Brennan, when we're dead, and then a big old frost hump right beside him. Right, but, I, I, but that thawing is more important than the ditch thawing, right? Yep. Like that big bag that you threw the material on that isn't thawing because of the material. I don't know what to say. There, it doesn't seem like anything I've been doing in the last week has been right in his eyes, so just keep pushing on. Right I'm doing it right. So it's just, um, you know, we're so far behind, we don't have time for things to get screwed up. Brennan's a damn good hand, but little things like that just can't happen, you know? Let's play. Parker's only chance of getting any gold this with the old bedrock. They pulled really good gold out of this cut last year, and that's telling me and my experience to hold it. The new cut opened up and uh, thawed out, and ready for sluicing. You never know, it's hard to say until it goes through the plant. But... After three days of downtime, Parker finally has material to run. Well, looks like Dean's got to fire up Lucifer, see what happens.
exercise the material is my biggest concern. We've run extra bedrock in the past. It's never been a good thing, but you know it is a good feeling to be sluice and finally. I just hope there's a lot of gold in it. Tunes should make her stable. But if she fails the transport Canada stability test, if the time of his dredge move are toast. When we don't get that kid commander approved today, then the dredging season for number two is putting them battles over there, would you please? But you know, it's actually quite simple. We got that string hanging there in the pail. The more the needle moves. So, as long as it stays within the red line, I'm going to be pretty happy. First 500 pounds on this side. Now let's see what that line is gonna do. Nah, I didn't make muscle. Okay, guys, Elen, Mike, you guys bring two more battles, please. <laughs> Rope over closer to the line. Because then we're in trouble. Be interested to see what number four does. It better not pass the line. So that looks pretty good to me. You know what? I think it'd be just fine. The, the results are confirmed by Transport Canada, and the Kit Commando is officially seaworthy. Last test today is huge. The final step: attach the new barge, christen the Monica, and head up straight out. And let's take it for a test run. How's it handling? She pushes good. She's not tippy anymore. It's actually it's good to finally see it in the water. This way we get two dredges working before the end of the season. We got dredge number two going and ounces. Yeah. Go for it. I need to get the launch pad up and running and every minute counts. Rick Ness has everything on the line. He spent his land on a new wash flag, Dirk Reynolds. And to avoid going broke, he needs to start sluicing gold ASAP. I always set our wash plants up when I was with Parker, but ultimately he had the final say. And now this year, it's it's 100% my call. A bunch of uh, concrete blocks. I'm going to build a bit of a retaining wall for my plant to sit on. It's a little more work, but it should actually be a cleaner setup and uh, less likely to... I'm unloading giant Legos. Head complete. It's time to haul in the 20-ton wash. Good. Wrap that around. Carl, when it comes unhooked, tell me so I can get out of the way. Are you? Oh, yeah. Ryan and Carl direct the risky maneuver. Right beside the six... Look, you're good. You gotta aim and get this set of tires on top of these white blocks behind me. Do I gotta start cutting it that way? Straighten it out. This is tire bracket. too bad, buddy. <laughs> Have you done this before or what? It's going to work or it's not. We're going to find out. Out of a cliff. <laughs> the crew only has to attach the sluice boxes and connect up the water supply. Hold. My way, my way. No. This is it. This is the last 
joints. A little more. A little more. Okay, let's try that. Man. Rip it. Now we're getting some. All right, I'm going to start this thing. Is it going to work? Yes. Everything? Fire it up. to run Slucifer for three Dean thinks contains gold. Hey, hey. About time, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Well, that pan looks a lot fuller than I thought of how the week went. Was, yeah. You got battled up there? Oh, it was pretty tough running all that extra better rock. Like, oh, wash plants don't like it, but looks like it might be worth it. There's hunting. It should produce an ounce an hour. A minimum of 70 ounces. There's uh, 20, 40, 60, and we're going to beat the last one. 80, buck 20. There we go. There we go. 131.45. Bad for the runtime we had. Yeah, it was like, what, 60, 70 hours? No. Good call, Dean. Good call. Go. Looks like you made a good shot, Dean. Oh, I'm just $160,000. It's pretty sweet. Dean's bedrock strategy has paid off. Fine. Like, I'm glad that you came in and gave us that suggestion to run that, because, like, otherwise, that, most of that would have been left behind. I mean, thanks. Well, you keep having ideas like that, we might keep you around for a week or two. <laughs> Look, busy couple weeks coming up here, trying to get two plants going, and we're well behind the gun, so... Let's um, tag it and bag it. Thanks, guys. Next morning, Parker has to make a crucial decision all season. So I've got to go let the guys know who the foreman is. I hate these kind of decisions because you can never please everybody at night. But we'll get it over with. So I um, just wanted to get everybody together and um, let you know a few things that's going on. You know, this season is uh, the game on stripping. This time last year, we had probably two wash plants running. So I've been doing some thinking, guys, and not know. So um, 
I need somebody to replace Rick. And I really can't afford to lose any of you. So Dean here is going to be our new foreman. He has a lot of experience up here. He's been mining for a lot of a decision that has to do with any of you guys. Just, I just want you guys to know that. I'll leave it at that. And let's get out there and kick some ass today. I'm hopeful that they took it good. I want a good CZ. Hopefully everybody's heart is into it. That's, that's what I'm aiming for. I don't know, I can't wrap my head around it. I haven't worked this hard to limbo. You know, this pisses me off. I'm gonna have to really think about what I want to do this year. They wanted the job or they don't like him or whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, let everybody do whatever they want all season. Yeah, you know, we're here to make money. Old Rush. That's my entire livelihood up there, ready to fall. Big things are starting to go wrong. Pretty Dodge. <laughs> Glad to see you, buddy. <laughs> thing off the hill. Fire guy! Fire up! Hey, Parker, you're going to get 6,000 ounces? Who are going to get 60? 71, 80, 90. Let's fire this up. What the I just don't want to know what the boss's mood's going to be in over this one. On this gold rush. That's my entire livelihood up there, ready to fall. Big things. The reason why I'm still sitting here is because I don't have a job to go back to. Freddie Dodge. I'm right, glad to see you, buddy. You know, you're asking for a miracle. Thanks. My first little nugget. <laughs> this cut for Big Red has to be ready here in the next five days. Yeah, I'm going to pull you out. No, I don't. You had five days to get this done. Well, I'm trying. This cut is going to be massive. Get it out there as fast as we can, and then it's done. Kill the water. As long as Teddy's going to win the race, we get the 6,000 houses. are 30 feet. Can't catch a break. Last week, Rick and his team fired up Dirk Reynolds for the first just one scoop of pay. Disaster struck. Hill. Is that close? I think it's time for me to call in some help. Yeah. Here I am picking my six boxes off uh, the bottom of the bank and looking at my wash plant sitting there. I'm numb at this point, honestly. Before Rick can secure his wash plant, they need to salvage the sluice box, the teetering 20-ton plant. We're doing as much as we can, but big things are starting to go wrong. Like, this is sketchy. All it takes is one shift, and if it falls over the edge, we're done. Yeah. We won't be sluicing any gold if that thing falls down the hill. Pack our stuff, head home. Six weeks ago, Rick Ness set a 1,000 ounce goal, the minimum he needs to break even and pay his crew. Looks to me like it kind of hung there and then ripped this one cable right out of the clamp. It's saved, but uh, there's nothing holding that corner up. The bigger problem we got right now is our wash plants now. That's my entire livelihood up there. My Everything I've got is sitting on the edge of this pad right now. After buying his $180,000 wash plan, Rick spent around $400,000 if he pay his debts. All right, good job, guys. That's getting better. Oh, yeah. Rick's called in wash plant expert, Freddie Dodge. 40-year mining career, Freddie has custom-built dozens of wash plants on gold mines across the globe. <laughs> Holy <laughs> deal. <that's> too long. <laughs> Man, I don't mind telling you, right off the bat, I'm in a bad way here. 
I bought this wash plant. We tried running it. Uh, the sluice boxes fell right off. The sluices fell off? Sluice boxes fell you right off. Me. No, right? Absolutely. I've got 180 grand in this thing. Right. And uh, I want your honest opinion on it. Okay. Um, but I'm just about out of funds. What I need from him is to get this thing working. I need gold right away. It's just gotta work. Well, these are a joke. His sluice boxes are just pure garbage. What do you think? I think you bought somebody else's nightmare, Rick. Really? Yeah. My advice, Rick, dose this thing off the hill. Oh, my We need to get those 10 foot little things you got there. That's just not an option. I just don't have the money. I may know where some sluices are. Really? Okay. If it's losing 40% of the gold, what That's choice right. do I have? Yeah. So I'll go try to round the sluices up. Okay. But we're going to need some guys to help. I'll help Rick out. I like Rick, but he's not here to wash rocks. He's here to catch gold, and the sluices he's got right now aren't where the sluices are, but it's still going to be a lot of work. by that whole situation with Tony. We're so far behind, it's just not even funny. Six weeks into the season, idle. He's set a 6,000 ounce goal, but right now, he's playing a desperate game of catch up, fighting frozen ground. At almost 1,000 ounces, and what, right now we've got 200? The only way we're getting anywhere close to 6,000 ounces is as soon as possible. I know Tony's pulling out all the stops, and Tell me there's no way I'm letting that madman be. ...to open up 61 acres of ground, running his two wash plants at either end of the massive cut. He's tasked with preparing ground for sluicing, but there's still two weeks from sluicing. We're trying to play catch up here the quicker we get this eyed out. After weeks of stripping, Parker's crew is almost down to pay dirt beside Big Red. Now move the wash plant into place before he can start sluicing. I'd like you to try to make it your mission and have this plant ready to go. Uh, try and work some magic with old Zach here. When it comes to the dirt work in here, I really need you to take that on and get the, get it done and have it ready. Because we've lost way too much of the season already. Yep. All right, good luck. Five days and there's a big, big job. I'm gonna do it, I wanna make this happen. Last week, Parker bypassed Brennan when he chose a new foreman. This is deep. Well, it is a bummer that I didn't get the foreman role. I mean, I've been working hard as I can to prove to Parker that I can be a leader, and I know that I sucks. It's almost like I'm just running my own cut down here because they trust me that I can get it done. The rate on this crew is pretty high, so there's a possibility that the new foreman may not last that long. To meet Parker's deadline, Brennan need 80 feet high by 200 feet wide in just five days using the super conveyor. We learned from the first year we got this conveyor that it's actually the best way to build a pad for the wash plant because you can build it having to run trucks so far up and around every time to dump, so it really speeds it up. Can you hear me, Zach? Shape up down here pretty good now, eh? Yeah, man, it's looking good. The super conveyor here is kind of Parker's baby and you run it, so. I guess it's something to be proud of. We might have to knock these couple cones down one more time to finish this off. Zach, why is the conveyor stop? What's going on, man? Be pissed, man. Oh, the whole floor is peeling up. Man, that's not good. I just don't want to know what the well, We usually don't open big cuts like this, but if we're gonna mess up, we better pull out all the stops. At Eureka Creek, Tony beats is on a mission. Now that we've got Kevin all set up, dress number one, it's time to clear some ground and get Monica's plant fired up. Is running 24-7, 
Now Monica's ready to start her operation. This cut is going to be massive. Seen it in this size in the Indian since I've been working here. Tony is opening up football fields called the Lucky Cut. The beat season plan? Sluice pay dirt from their new cut with Monica Bob Kevin's dredge runs dirt just half a mile away. And by the end of the season, Tony should have his second dredge up in the rocks. I still need to get some gold in the box. Tony's youngest son, Mike, is in charge of the stripping crew. The cut this size, we got everything we got right now stripping here. So, start sluicing as soon as possible. I just hope that we can get sluicing soon. This stripping, it's all fine and fun, but way more money than you're bringing in. Beautiful. Hey, we got paid those right away. Sometimes you get lucky, and in this case, yeah, but uh, we've got to tear that cut out. I mean, we're gonna get Monica's plan going a month early that way. Month early means give or take a million bucks. To be now they have Peter. Kevin preps the wash plan that's been idle since last season. I got dirt stopping from getting gold. Hi, man, you know, Kevin. We're getting it. We're not done yet. Well, Kevin, you're never going to get it all. Run the things. The sooner it gets wet, the sooner you're going to have it on the go. If you're going to hit that 6,000 ounces, we better get the going. Okay, more guys. Hey, Monica, you want to start losing. The speeder is actually kind of a piece of crap, but Tony's all gung-ho to reach his full capacity. for the feeders jumping. What the? Hey! Get the water! Kill the water! It's jumping. And I will look with. The off the bolts. She pulled out of the frame. Last season's dirt jammed up the conveyor on the hopper feeder, and it ground to a halt. But the drive cog kept turning on its bearing, causing the housing to break its bolts and come loose. Don't tell me you want to weld this right. Yeah. So we probably got to go find a new feeder. That's probably what we got to do. Done. Out of here. Close. ruin my friends lives it just sucks man at quartz creek rick nesses he's fixed his pad got enough pay ready to run for a week but without a sluice box he's got guys my crew everybody they need to see gold you know it's just uh everybody's down in the dumps everybody's ready to bail you know i wouldn't rick's only hope Help salvage his season. <clears throat> I know they aren't sexy, Rick, but this is all that's around. Man, so if they're straight enough. Yeah. So my thoughts, we use these. Yeah. There's another sluice over there. We cut it in half, add 10 more feet on. Okay. We're gonna have to fabricate the whole thing. Like anything else right now. This if we we can't do anything until we get up and running. I mean they're not clean one owners, but it's what's here. Phew. They look like catch gold. Yeah. Rick's old sluices are only 10 feet long, too short. Up to 40% of all the gold is washing off the end. Freddy's plan sluices. By increasing the recovery area, all the gold should settle in the riffles. Freddy took a pile of junk to me, but of course I gave him a budget of zero, so I guess I can't complain. Um, he claims he can make this into a sluice box. That's why he's here. Coming down easy. Oh. Any other place, I wouldn't care about this big hunk of garbage, but up here it's about the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Work with, and it's rotten, it's rusty, but it's going to work. We're going to put all new angle clips in. We're going to need carpets, and we're going to need riffles. So, stuff, I'll be here to help. Any questions, ask me. Just point us in the right direction, and we'll do it. 
When we're done with it, these will be gold catching machines. Ryan and Z are welder fabricators. But Carla has never even held an oxyacetylene torch before. And this is our oxygen to adjust our tip, right? Red your acetylene is your fuel. Get it warm, right? Then give it oxygen, right? See what you do. Oh, I blasted those two at once. Yeah, you did. Perfect. You got her. Thanks, man. You're welcome. You were Everybody was at a bit of a breaking point, and uh, I think if Freddie didn't show up, uh, we would have had a couple guys out of here for sure. Freddie and the crew work a 15-hour shift to get the new sluice into shape. Got a welder set, and we're on our way. Things are looking good. Yep. You guys have a lot of skills. You've just never mined gold before. Yeah. Well, we're here to learn and here to work. Let's get this thing set up. See, looking forward to it. Freddie and my guys did a great job. Unless they got it done, but we still got to get it moved down to the plant. This is ready. Let's get some gold. gotta be kidding me. Not sluicing. Two days into building a pad for Big Red, Brennan broke the super conveyor. We've put a lot of weight on it all sorted out and getting the cut done, put the plant in place, but this conveyor's broke down and Brennan's a fair bit behind. Chad Paulus is attempting to get them back on track. So the sooner we get this conveyor fixed, the I sooner I'm gonna stop bugging you. I know, I know. But I'm gonna say we have two plants, we should at least have one going at all times. Brandon's got a pretty big task ahead of him as far as having this cut ready, so he's gonna have this organized and set up properly, you know? It's definitely a lot better when Parker's not around because uh, we just get done and we do it's pretty frustrated and he's like the bull in the china shop. The base plate on the hopper has worn through. To replace it, they need a chain that drives pay onto the belt. Parker takes charge. That first lever on the on the this side, I probably just went too hard. Round two. It's caught up on that chunk of steel right there. I think if we go ahead though, right? We'll try around it. So. out of the way, Chad can fit the new. Dennis is just finishing welding out the skin. I think it looks good. I, it should work. As soon as Parker left, everything kind of came together, so she should, uh... Sh One last job. Fit the chain ladder back in place. Okay, there you go. Okay. Fired up. I don't think he knows that term. Good job, guys. Thanks, me too. Awesome. Are you happy? I'm happy. Can you guys build a pad? Yes, we can. Can you put a wash pan on it? Yep. Can you find some gold? Yep. All right, why don't you do that? Oh, hi-ho, hi-ho, pad building I go. Now that the conveyor's back up and running, it'll be a pad in the sure. We've opened up this ginormous cut. We called it the lucky cut. We got dirt ready for this feeder. Monica Beats is trying to help her father hit his 6,000 ounce, $7.2 million gold. But after her ancient hopper feeder died. Today we're gonna get Monica's plan going. I mean, here we are, we got a pipe ball, we got to make some money. Today we're putting on a new feeder. So we're gonna slide that into place and hopefully life will be easier. And with this, if you only need two people, you can run a night shift. Oh, yeah. Right there, that doubles your income. Right there. So, I mean, I mean, there's chance there could be mine. Yeah. Let's crank it up. The replacement 200 yards of pay dirt per hour. Do you go an inch or two to your right? Stop. I think we should run the thing and then see what we can get out of it. Sounds good to me. Well, let's go. Let's make it. Especially as officially as it is now. Awesome. Monica's 
wash plant is finally up and running. Tony jumps in the 700 excavator to help load Peter. Truck going to be an excavator, one, two dozers. I think we're going to be opening up more air than we're going to be able to sluice all summer. Really good. Yeah. You ready for a long walk, Carla? Yeah, I love long walks. Rick Ness is hauling his new mile and a half to the cut. Freddie follows with the distribution box. Freddie, you got your diving gear? Just... No, I don't, Rick, and I swim like a lead balloon. Just letting Carla drag the sluice boxes and the excavator. I just got her in neutral, Carla's water. that our season would be resting on a bunch of rusty garbage be a miracle next up swing the new sluice box into place everybody keeps an eye out from each other nobody gets hurt it's my hand signals i got it Let's ready for this. a hat bump nope <laughs> i knew that no. a <laughs> rick needs to center the sluices exactly beneath the distribution box easy rick right there, Rick. Woo! That's all I We're looking good right now for our pitches. Nice. This won't be the sexiest, yeah. but it'll freaking work. I don't care how it looks. Let's get running. Hey. Here we are. It's a big moment here. This is our shop. And uh, I know it's been hard on you guys to see results. This is it. Let's turn it on. Put some dirt in it. Feed the beast. <laughs> some box fell in place. Looks like we're finally gold mining, man. It's a wicked day. This is huge. Six weeks into his first season as a month finally sluicing. Maybe there's even some gold in here. Who knows? And thanks to Freddy, his 1,000 ounce gold is in reach. See how Brennan's doing. We need to start getting some gold coming in here. After four days, Brennan has finished the path. He's now ready to... I feel like Parker sees that I'm stepping up to the plate and taking on more responsibility, and I just want to prove to him that I can take these responsibilities on. How's it going? Well, we got the sluice rounds up there. I usually use the stick. Well, and just keep dragging it, yeah. You're like a student driver in there with this thing. You feel really confident. <laughs> that doesn't sound healthy. Brennan needs to drag Big Red up the 200 fans. He should be able to get that up the hill. I mean, we've got to get up the hill with the loader before. But am I too close to that side? Hey, whoa, whoa, hold up. You got to start pulling that thing up a little bit. You're digging in. Woo, nerves are ticking. Hurry up. Oh, I have to get this done. Well, I'm trying. Almost there, man. Let's keep her going. Keep her going. Nice job. Yeah. Nice job. Thanks, man. I think that'll work. We were running Big Red 40 days ago last year. But I think we can make the time up. All right, let's fire this. Oh, what a good feeling. Thank you. Rick has 
managed to keep his new wash plant, Dirt Reynolds, running for two days without a hitch. My first goal might be in this box. We just gotta get it right this time. Rick and this whole team's put, you know, their heart and soul into this plant. We've been here for months. It's about time we start getting some damn gold out of the ground. All right, let's shut her down then. We'll leave her there for a minute. Sixty? 
80, 90, 100, 100, number two. Worth over $130,000. That's nothing wrong with that. If you can get it in there steady. Yeah. I'm going to get my harmonica splint. Yeah, me too, actually. To reach his 6,000 ounce goal, just like Parker, Tony, every week. 15, 20, 25, 30, 60, 70, 80, 100, 100 40, and 80, 200, to 10, to 20, to 30, to 2. <laughs> worth $290,000. That's actually really darn good. So you're lucky you got this produced. Pay for the upgrades to your plan, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we might even have a little left over. I'm getting married this year, so that's expensive. <laughs> well, I mean, the two of them, they just about managed to pull in 350, you know. Yeah. So that's pretty good. That's really good. So, Mom, was a total in total. This is a good start, isn't it? Yeah. Six weeks into the season, Tony is already 500 ounces ahead of Parker. This way, we got the 6,000 ounces yet to be keep this up. Like, <laughs> on the next. I've got to show them that there's gold in that dirt. Shut it down! We've got our first gold here. Let's weigh it up. We're way behind schedule, and we're... What the f We've done some stupid f but this is the top one. Holy f They start tearing down the, the f thing was built out of wood that burned the damn thing. On this gold rush. season, you know? It's exciting, right? It is. Yeah. We've got to get a pile of gold coming in. And there's something wrong with this piece of dozer. We've done ones. Hey! Holy That's deep. 40, 60, 70, 80. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll be nice today. Start bearing down. There's number two. Yep, done. Um, I'm like seven weeks in now, still don't have any gold. $30,000 owe on this wash plan at this point. Reality's setting in here that I might, might screw this up before I even get any gold. Has invested around $400,000. He's deep in debt and has yet to pay his crew a dime. I haven't received any payment since I've been here and my job was to come up here and mine gold and get paid for it. And if I don't have a job to go back to, it really is the ultimate risk in every aspect. Rick has to be uh, successful. By the end of the week, I gotta do a cleanup. Show these guys some gold so they don't lose faith in me completely. Rick has set a thousand ounce gold to cover his costs. Seven weeks in, this is just the second full day he's run. Starting off pretty slow here, but uh, gotta learn somewhere. We're not just good gold. By the end of the week, Rick needs the sluice boxes to be full of gold. But even then, he has from the concentrate. I gotta get a gold room set up, and I gotta show these guys why we're here, you know. Up until now, we've just been shipped to dirt, and I've gotta show them that there's gold. Got Freddie Dodge on the case. He's the best gold recovery guy I know. Gold expert Freddie Dodge has spent $50,000 getting everything Rick needs to set up a total investment to $450,000. Ready, Dodge. How's it going, Rick? Well, here's your set of jigs, table, yeah. and a vault. That thing's incredible. I want you to fill it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go see where the gold is. I was thinking, where's the concrete? Oh, I don't, I haven't, I haven't had time, man. I haven't, I don't have any of that set up. 
The table has to have a secure pad to anchor into, or the motion of the table won't work right. We need concrete. It's gonna be like a pad out here. I can't spend $10,000 on concrete, man. You know what? I've got an idea. Something I'll show you. May or may not work. I'm not even certain what I'm looking for is still here, but okay. we'll know pretty quick. This is a pad we need. Concrete pad. No way. If we can cut pieces out of this, it'll save you 10 grand. Man, that's huge. I'm all about that. You see the names in it? In the concrete. Now you know. That's Todd's kids. <laughs> this is where the Hoffmans started in the Yukon. Back in 2011, Freddie held room right here. Okay, guys, this is a big moment. It's our first clean out. Well, let's just make it happen. All right. I need to cut it into some pieces. Yeah, you got a saw? I've got a saw. Let's cut it up. Yeah! So I gotta run. All right, all right. Shut it down! Hey, stop! What the? F Dirt Reynolds slews a plant and is hanging on by its cables. Yeah, I don't know what the f happened. I guess the ground wasn't stable enough underneath that. that Gonna undermine the pad. The sluice box extension shoots the wastewater away from the wash plant pad. When it put gallons of water a minute, started undermining the sluice, threatening to collapse the pad and topple. We need to get this fixed fast. The whole thing's gonna go off the edge. season goal. Seven weeks in, he's only dug up 315 ounces, worth $380,000 at this time last year. I'm just helping Brennan down here, you know, trying to add and down to pay here. You know, there's a lot of work that needs to get done and in a hurry here. Full tilt. It's running so good that we're running out of pay very quickly. Might not be able to keep this wash plant fed for too much longer. Parker's clay city. At the other end of the cut, wash plant sluicer sits idle with no pay dirt to process. Are working around the clock to get sluicer back on the gold. We started so late, now we're just doing whatever frozen gravel off. It's hard on everything. We're wearing out teeth on D10s and these 700s, but right now that's what we have. So right now we're just throwing everybody and all the equipment out into the cut, trying to get Lucifer on.
what's the story with Matt Dozer? I wish I had some good news for you, but that training's done. It's locked up. Well, we're definitely gonna have to pull it all out to see what's going on in there, but it's grenaded. It's not something small, I can tell you that. Deep within the final drives, the transmission is a set of cogs. Mitch believes these cogs have chewed themselves. Can't even turn anything, so I think it's gonna be down a while until you buy a new one. Getting a new transmission would take a week and cost dollars. By the time parts get here, then are we gonna rebuild the transmission out here? Or are we at least staying afloat as it is? What about this one? The old Hoffman Special, we've been robbing parts off that thing to keep the rest of them going for the last couple years. Parker bought the Hoffman's old dozer in 2000 gold, worth around $140,000 at the time. Parker Schnabel. Hey Todd, I'd like to talk about a dozer. The D10. That's right. I'll give you 100 ounces. You got a deal. What about that trip? They're the same transmission, aren't they? Well, I mean, in theory, yeah, it's another D10N tranny. You know, it might look the same on the outside, but you go to put it in, it might not all match. We're pretty well out of options, you know? We need to be out there ripping, so I hate to ask. Parker's plan? Cannibalize the transmission from the Huffman's old D10 to save his good part of a day pulling a tranny out of one that we don't even know what it's all about to put in another. Mitch doesn't really seem to like the idea, but dirt needs to move. And this dozer too. Dozer! Hey, come on! We gotta pull all these hydraulics off. Pull this skid plate off the back here. Skid plates out of the way. Position. This is it here. So now with, uh, we gotta undo. Uh... Right now, what I'm gonna do is pull the drive axles out. By doing that, it'll allow us to be able to remove the old transmission. Load it up. Well, that's the last. Of... We're almost uh, off the end of the tracks. Whoa. There it is. Yep. Next challenge, Parker has to transport the two-ton trends in the cut on the other side of the Indian River. We need to build something that we can, you know, secure this in and... Screw it. I'm going to walk it across the river. I can walk over there in about 20 minutes. Yeah, but if something cuts loose here, you're going to be fishing this thing out of the river. I'm a little bit nervous about this whole thing. All right, I'll meet you over there, Mitch. Hey, have us build something that we can actually move this transmission without tearing it up here. But, you know, he's in a big hurry. He just wants to carry it across the river. That thing's swinging like a wrecking. If Parker wrecks the tranny, it'll cost him 200 grand for a new replacement. Probably isn't the brightest idea in the world, but it's so damn critical. Here goes nothing. Holy That was genuinely. You can see the water on this side, it's pretty deep. And you know, this river changes all the time. For him to have one mistake, dunk that thing in the water, fill it full of gravel, and it's just gonna be junk. We've done some stupid but this is. Hey, watch this side, there's a pretty good hole. Well, it'd be nice today. 
start tearing down last address number two. Cut the thing apart, get it the out of here. The 72-year-old dredge is located way off the road network at Thistle Creek. Involves a 100-mile barge trip down the Yukon River, followed by another 60 miles by road. I left that out there once, John. Tony wants to lift out the bucket ladder, but the winch is in the way. In order for us to take the bucket ladder, this out, the winch, go cable around and lift this out all the way. Yeah. With the bucket ladder or without a bucket ladder, we have to do it anyway. So. Starting right there and working your way through. Piece by piece. Piece by piece, done deal. Let's get better. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's make this happening. Crane. Lift it up. Quick, wait, stop, stop. Mike, hold it. Whoa, what the f Hang in there, Mike. Suck your boom back because I think it's not on the. Yeah, you got bolts over there. That's all right. Cut the off. Good try again on a straight lift, Mike. Pull it up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, whoa. stop. What's out? Stop, stop. Good try again on a straight lift, Mike. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, whoa. stop. What's out? Stop, stop. Tony Beats is racing to dismantle his second drain out the bucket ladder. But he's gotten stuck removing the winch. Is he completely loose? Viva. Let's go. Stay. Three feet. Five feet. No, all the sides don't like. Well, I have two people trying to give me direction. One person only, please. All four of you, listen to me for a second. Scriba, you go on the deck. Mike, you lower that thing down to the ground. That's not a work. The winch is down. Tony's ready to haul out the heaviest part of the dredge, the bucket ladder, with a two crane lift. Get the show on the road. Everything is free and clear. Okay, are you ready for the lift? Okay, Mike, we will lift it up. Okay, Mike, up slowly. More fun. Okay, but... This thing's a big, awkward. Bucket ladder weighs 14 tons, and with the tukri of 70 tons, the haul out should be simple. Pull on that thing, pull on that thing. That thing up. Oh. Hold on, guys. Hold on. No, no dice. How no tight? What are you pulling up there? Just under 10 tons, so 10 tons. Okay, well, just let it down a bit because no way is that heavy. Let it down, let it down, Mike. What the thing? Let me put it to you this way. If the thing was built out of wood, I'd burn the damn thing. This clear, and that's clear. How tight are them jams? Because that's what she's tight. That's what them big bolts. We'll just take those out, blow a hole in it. Always it with a Paid attention a bit earlier. Built it. The bucket ladder is bolted from underneath to the frame. So we have to take all the bolts out first, then drop the bucket ladder. On first inspection, Tony didn't see four 16-inch bolts that hold the bucket ladder in place. The salute then reattempt the lift out. The season is only so long, so any delay puts you back up at Thistle Creek through 72 years of Klondike weather to free the rusted bolts. Pick up the place. Join torches that burn at over 5,000 degrees. Hey, hit the with a Okay, next. Hey, see you got a fire going on over here? Not the up. You know, torches, wood. Michael Beach. 
Rwanda green right against that face. And for round two. Well, they left it up. I ripped that pontoon out with a loader. Hit it between both pontoons. Good, you got it. Hey, Mike, let's get this bucket ladder out of there. Just a little bit up. fixing some storm out here. So I'm just gonna have to pull this out of here and gonna shove everything. At Quartz Creek, Dirt Reynolds is at a standstill. The sluice extension has fallen off and before he loses his wash plant off the bank. So I gotta just do what I can to shore it up. Keep pounding it in here. Holds it in place. It seems like it's not damaged or anything. If it's lined up, it's tight. Well, if that don't work, I don't know what will. <laughs> Fire it up, buddy. Let's get some gold. Fire it up. Okay. If they would have went any longer, our sluice box would have been down here. Then we'd have been hurting. That thing gets up. That's the only one we got. I think it is fixed for now, at least. So, if we can get back to helping Freddie and we can get a cold room together. Over at Rick's camp, Freddie Dodge is building Rick a gold room on the concrete. How's that, Carla? Yeah, that might work. How's it going, Rick? Good, man. This looks good. What are you running? Just to set the table up. Oh, no kidding. Yours will be on here next. Oh, I hope so. Man, this concrete turned out great. Huh? It looks like it's full. That's great, man. Oh, we need your stuff up here and yeah, start yeah. cleaning it up. I'm glad you're here, man. It's awesome. I've been having a lot of right up here. Made this happen. Saved me 10 grand, you know. This is a win. I'll take it. I'll celebrate a small victory. <laughs> Hopefully, Mitch can get that transmitter here. At Scribner Creek, Slucifer is still idle, and Big Red's pay pile is getting low. Push transplant to get his broken dozer back stripping. We're just fighting frozen mud every step of the way, and it's pretty critical that we get her. Mechanics Mitch and Chad have already removed the broken transmission. Now they need to figure out how to... Now we got to slide this transmission in, hook everything up, cross our fingers, and hope it all works right. The precision part needs to be fitted at a... It'll be damaged beyond repair. We're just gonna have to be really careful. Try not to tweak this thing getting in there. Pick it up, walk straight in. Yeah, man. There's no room for error here. This delicate operation usually requires a workshop. All Mitch has is an excavator. How are we looking there? I think you gotta come right and just come down slow. Come down. She's gonna be tight. Damn close, she's like an inch off those rails, Mitch. That's what we're doing. It's in, as long as it all works. Well, it might not be rebuilt, it might not be new, but it's back together. This is uh, just the Yukon Chop Shop. I'll let Barker know. Yeah, we got this. Yeah. This thing ready to go? Just finished it up. And then. Sweet. Warranty. No warranty, no guarantees. Should we see if it goes into gear? Tear it up. As long as it moves, we're in good shape. The engine starts, but the test is getting the transmission into gear. The 
gear. Bounces a week if he's going to hit this season's 6,000 ounce target. Monica's up first. 30, 60, 90, 100, 110, 170, 180, 200, 210, 225.88. dollars It's awesome. It seems to be producing. It's actually not bad for a me. Let's go see what Kevin has. 20, 40, 50, 70, 90, 112, 0.12 ounces. That's a combined total of worth over $400,000. Our grand total is 1120 right now. It's good to see that every week. The Beats family is way ahead of where they were this time last year and way ahead of rival parker you guys want to pack the up and let me get back to work hey get the out of here. <laughs> what do you think ready to fire it up carla yeah let's do this carla gets a lesson in fine gold recovery. Using this table, so you're separating your... See this light stuff here? Let's kick into the side. The amount of water coming out right there is keeping the black over, but still allowing that gold to go in the cut. Right, because it happens right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, we aren't losing a speck of gold right now. Don't get nervous, because you can't lose anything on here. <laughs> He's got his first cleanup, and those guys can see their first gold. They can see why they've been up here all spring, fighting and digging. They'll see it. his quick fix transplant it's time for back on track that's from big red yeah well mitch i'm glad you got that those are pretty good anyway i say somebody throw that on the scale and see where we're at parker set a six thousand ounce to to reach his season goal he now needs 330 ounces every week see what we got 60 70 80 100 140, buck 50, 170, 180. Here we go. Get all the dust out of there. 201.4 thousand dollars. I think we just went from way, way behind to way behind. <laughs> <laughs> gaining. We're gaining. We're gaining. That's what, that's, what, that's what matters. I mean, really, without sluice for running, we're kind of at 50%, you know? Like, it's. Uh, it's a tough manage to have them both going yet. Parker has 523 ounces, half the gold he had this time last year. We just got to get those plants both up and going and keep them both up and going and start doing double or triple that every week. Okay. Good job, guys. A lot of gold coming in from Big Red. Let's keep her going. Thanks right, again, man. Good job. Good, Good job with that transmission. Thanks. First goal of the season, you know? Everyone's only managed to run the wash plant for about a day and a half, so any gold in the box would be good. At Quartz Creek, Freddy's gold room is done. Rick Way. Hey guys, you want to meet uh, Freddy and I down at the gold room? We've got our first gold here. Let's weigh it up. No one's been paid this season, and the crew some gold. Fellas? Ladies? Thank you. Remember in the beginning when I told you guys that gold mining was going to be easy? <laughs> this first, we had a lot of issues, but I think you're starting to see the method to the madness, right? 
what we have here is you guys' first gold. It's exciting, right? It is. <laughs> you guys got to see the wow. first gold that you ever got to dig out of the ground yourselves. You got gold. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah, yeah. let's weigh it up. Seven years ago, Rick's ex-boss Parker at his first weigh-in. All right. <laughs> We're starting out low here. There's two, five, 25, okay, 80, 30. <laughs> yeah, here we are. 30.28. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. That's $36,000 right there. Yeah, this, this is fantastic, man. I'm super, super stoked. Leadership there for a while, and this really happened. Yeah. How much of this is ours? Remember, there's law to operate for a little bit here. Some bills got to get paid. To be honest with you, I still owe thirty thousand dollars in that wash plant. We wouldn't have this gold if we didn't have the wash plant. So yeah, I get it exactly. But the main thing is, it does get gold. That's why we made it. You're officially gold miners right now, and that's honest to goodness truth. We're learning the hard way, but I think that's the only way. <laughs> I need some more, so uh, let's get back to work. Yeah, let's mine. It. But man, I gotta get more now. You will. You yeah. know what? That's the start. And this next week, hopefully, you can show them a lot more. It's thirty That's ounces. Start. That pan of gold right there just paid the rest of your plan off. Yeah. Next week, you may do a hundred out. Thanks, buddy. Next time on Gold Rush. I just hired this dude. If you don't, then we've got an issue here. So what the f you got? She's thumping. It's toast, Kevin. The f pump is broken. Rick, stop! We're surging, man. We can't go the whole season like this. You know, we've had our problems. Honestly, I'm not going to give a big speech. I'm just going to go like this. Xin chào mọi người. Chào mừng mọi người đã đến với kênh đọc sách báo chuyện của mình. Hôm nay chúng ta sẽ cùng nhau đọc đầu báo có tựa đề là trò cười thế kỷ của K-pop. Và có thể như là bài báo này là viết chủ yếu về hai hai đăng kiểm không chứng ngắn ngẩn. Bắt nguồn từ tháng 4 năm 2004, cuộc đấu tố nội bộ giữa tập đoàn Hai và mẹ đẻ New Jeans Min Hee Jin vẫn chưa đến hồi kết. Từ những màn bóc phốt vạch trần nhau trên truyền thông, trên cách chức đức quyền CEO Drama của tập đoàn giải trí số 1 Hàn Quốc đến nay ngày càng phức tạp, lê thê, những phim cô dâu 8 tuổi. Và những ngày gần đây, cư dân mạng lại hóng thêm một nào từ hai. Quốc hội Hàn Quốc vừa mở phiên điều trần, trong đó công bố tài liệu nội bộ khiến tập đoàn này muối mặt trước công chúng. Ờ, đây là một hình ảnh về danh thu, về nhóm nhạc Les Safarim và có, tựa, có ý chú thích ở đây là danh thu album Unforgiven của Les Safarim và Dark Lord của Ehipan dính nghi án ra lận vì thông tin bảo trong báo cáo nội bộ của hai. Đầu tiên phải kể đến việc thao túng doanh thu album. Theo đó hai đã đăng, tăng thành tích ảo cho gà nhà bằng cách phát hành với điều kiện hoàn trả. Các nhà phân phối sẽ mua lượng lớn album. Trong trường hợp không bán hết có thể hoàn về tập đoàn. Dựa vào ký tự viết tắt, dân tình suy đoán hai album dính nghi án ra lận là Unforgiven của Les Farim và Dark Lord của Ehipan. Uh, và đây là hình ảnh của nhóm nhạc New Jeans thuộc về hai và hai hiện tại đang có hệ kế hoạch loại bỏ New Jeans và thị phi vẫn chưa dừng lại thì là tài liệu nội bộ bị hé lộ của hai còn có phần kế hoạch loại bỏ New Jeans nhưng nổi cộng nhất là tổng hợp phân bản nói xấu hai trên năng lực và ngoại hình của nhóm nhạc khác và cái tên bị nhắc đến gồm Aspa, Rice, And mix và so sánh giữa Jenju Sobi của TXT với NCT Dream Stray Kid. Và đây là hình ảnh của nhóm nhạc Espa nha. Và Espa là nữ trành đối tượng của hai vị quan chức tập đoàn chế, chế thiếu sự phối hợp. Và trong đó thì Espa chính là đối tượng dẫn cảm hàng đầu của Bang Siêu. Đã được Min Hee Jin kể tội ở hồn báo, họ báo thời hồn thẳng và các chức hai nhận xét tiêu cực về nhóm nữ tả SM sau đó s team work hoàn ý nhảy không đều và điều nghiêm trọng hơn là dừng lại ở bất cứ hoàn cảnh nào đi nước có bốn người nhưng chẳng có lấy một khoảnh khắc nào nhảy đều từ khi quảng bá cho girls đã có rất nhiều là bàn tán rằng họ có vẻ chẳng tập tành gì cảm giác team work không khá hình trước nào dịch từ tài liệu nội bộ bị công bố ờ, 
tức là hình ảnh của nhóm nhạc 17 này ở tập đoàn 2 thì có thể thấy là tất cả đại chứng vàng 17 cũng bị chê ngoại hình rồi. Thế cả nhóm nhạc nha, triệu bản 17 cả đại chứng vàng hiện tại của Gladys có doanh thu rất lớn với tổng số tổng của tập đoàn không nằm ngoài tầm nhà nhắm. Các quan chức 2 dè bự ngoại hình của 17 cho rằng Gladys tự tin quá mức và 13 chàng trai không xuất sắc đến thế. Và hai đây là ảnh ảnh Trung Quốc và Jimin của BTS và hai đã để mặc cho fan Trung Quốc Jimin sâu xé nghệ sĩ. Ngoài ra xung trạng được điểm toán quốc gia dài 2000 trang của hai có tiết lộ tập đoàn cũng để mặc cho fan tùm của Jimin và Trung Quốc nhóm BTS sâu xé nhau thì chính sự của hai kính độ sự bất đồng trong fan tùm riêng những thành viên nhóm nhạc toàn cầu. Hai để mặc nghệ sĩ bị thể chay tấn công ác ý và dùng tài nguyên trong một trong hai hot mom của BTS hướng chịu chỉ chỉ trích của bên còn lại. Rõ ràng cách hai vận hành vốn không bảo vệ nghệ sĩ và là nhiều chiêu trò rẻ tiền kích sự thích sức mua của fan. À. Và tập đoàn giải số một Hàn Quốc được gọi là dòng sổ cho cười của thế kỷ K-pop tất cả những điều này biến hình ảnh hai và trở nên xấu xí vì một tập đoàn lớn thu nhập thu thập nghiên cứu tài liệu tiêu cực toàn những chuyện không đâu vào đâu chỉ trích là lãng phí nguồn lực theo dõi đấu tố của nhà hai không khác gì đấm hai kịch quái oan tập đoàn giải trí xuống một hàn quốc bị gọi là dò sổ chào cười thế kỷ của k pop và là từ lúc công ty này đổi từ big hit thành hai họ để rõ tham vọng và cũng cho thấy có nhiều chính sách lỏng lẻo trong việc quản lý. Ờ, và rất là hy vọng họ có thể sửa được nếu không bị sửa hộ lắm ok vậy là mình đã đọc xong đầu báo ngày mai rồi nha mọi người cảm ơn mọi người đã theo dõi hết video này của mình còn bây giờ thì xin chào và hẹn gặp lại mọi người ở những video tiếp theo của mình nha bye bye mọi người